guys it's the uh wednesday night just got off work and uh been kind of slacking on uh getting my decoys ready for the year so um working seconds i got off at 11 come home try and get some of these decoys done tonight i gotta get up in the morning and cut some more brush for the blind um procrastinating you know so gets the best of us some years so i'm just going to go through and show you how i rig my decoys for um you know river hunting um pretty simple stuff i use anything from trot line to uh uh i'm gonna try some uh stranded electrical wire um see how that does and then most of my weights are concrete weights that i homemade um dixie cups bag of concrete and some uh, zip ties so um probably do a time lapse and then uh i'll just go through and show you how i do each one enjoy Just about off the ground. And I bring it back, back around. 
around the neck. I'll throw my name on these since I'm hunting with a group of guys this year. Um, so I don't know my deep voice on my hair. And uh, I'll throw them in the uh, these bags. So this is actually like a landscape waste bag that I bought on Amazon. Um, it's got a, uh, you can kind of see it there. I'm not even sure what to call it. I don't know what it's made out of, but it's just a band that runs through the lip that keeps it open. Once you get a few decoys in it, the bag stands up on its own pretty good. So rated for about... I think three, three or four hundred pounds, which I'm not, you know, close to pushing that. Um, should have kept track of how many decoys I threw in. I guess I can go through the time lapse and watch that and see how many it held. These are like a, uh, not a super mag, but they are a older flambeau mag, magnum decoy. And that's what uh, the majority of, actually all of them, except for I think maybe one I accidentally threw in. So I just labeled it on the side super mag mallard. Um, it's got grab handles on the top and bottom, and uh, it'll be nice. It'll be nice to throw your decoys in there and leave them in there, um, and then they fold up flat. Uh, I believe for a two-pack, they're either 15 or $20 for two, and I end up buying two two-packs, so I'd like to see how many of those I can get in there. Um, about the only thing I wouldn't throw in a bag is probably goose floaters just because they're so big. Um, like I said, that's how I do them. Um, cheap, easy, and uh, a lot of those you might have seen I didn't restring. If a string and leech stayed on them last year, I'm pretty sure they'll stay on them again this year. Um, old decoys, I, you know, if I lose a few, uh, not a big deal to me, but uh, everyone's different, so. But uh, comment down below how you guys do your decoys. Um, I do put some on the Texas rig, my newer decoys, uh, for when I do walk-ins. Um, but like I said, I'm big river, Illinois river uh, duck hunting. So um, I try to use the concrete weights just to be a cheap source. Last year we put out 600 decoys, so you know that's a lot of money and weight if you're uh, buying all lead. But yeah, comment down below how you guys string yours up and. Uh, Good luck this year.